Hey, welcome back to the show. Show's called Your Money or Wealth. Joe Anderson here. I'm a certified financial planner with Big Al Club Plan. He's a CPA. We're talking strategies in regards to your overall home. Go to our website, yourmoneywealth.com. Click on that special offer. It's our retirement readiness guide. Retirement readiness guide. Are you ready for retirement? Yourmoneyorwealth.com. Click on that special offer. Now, let's see how you did on that true false question. Retirees 62 years old and older can take a reverse mortgage without going through counseling. True or false? Well, that is false. And the reason it's false is because reverse mortgages are complicated. They're a great thing for some, not such a good thing for others. There's complexities. You really got to understand what you're getting into and whether this really makes sense. Yeah, I mean, with the counseling, they're going to check your eligibility. They're going to look at the implications of the loan. They're going to try to figure out other options as well. So let's look at some creative ways. Is there other things that you potentially can do, right, to create some additional income in retirement if you need some? How about rent out a room, eh, gal? You got a four or five bedroom (laughs) right down the hall from your bedroom. There you go. I got two guest rooms. I could do that. And you, when the kids leave, how many? You got about 12 rooms? (laughs) I got a a long way to go. Long way to go there. That is true. It's going to be a while before you get to rent out a room. I got about 16 years. But a lot of times people rent out a room, right? So, but I don't know. that. There's pros and cons here. Maybe if you have a basement or something, you put them in the basement. Actually, a friend of mine just uh, did an additional dwelling unit in the garage, made a separate entrance, bathroom, stove, you know, bedroom, and is renting the, the garage, which now looks like a, a regular bedroom, kind of like a studio, and making actually pretty good money on it. There you go. Oh, a little bed and breakfast. <laughs> Big, Big Al can cook you pancakes in I the morning. You have to learn how to cook. <laughs> <laughs> Let me, you got a good cookbook cook book for me? Uh, uh, no, no. Okay. But, you know, that's kind of a cool idea, you know, depending on where you live. Which is, you can have a home-based business. I think that's a pretty good one. Yeah, that, that one actually can, side hustle. can apply to a lot of people. So you think about a home-based business. It could be anything. Like, I think you first of all think when you're retiring and you'd like a little bit of extra income, Right? What did you do when in your career? Can you do some kind of consulting role? Or can you do something related? Or maybe you're sick of it. <laughs> you want to do something totally different. The nice thing about a home-based business is you don't have to worry about rent. You can just use your home. So you're saving money on rent, right? And, and you get extra tax deductions. It's, it's a little complicated on what you can deduct, but you do get extra tax deductions for your home-based business. It can be a great way to, to create a little extra income. Rent out your entire home. Yeah, then uh, get a tent. Live a tra- live in a trailer. <laughs> get in the tent. <laughs> stay in the backyard, and then just rent out your entire home. You got a vacation home, and you're going to go live in the vacation home for a while, right? So rent out your primary, or vice versa, the rest of the time. All right, let's switch gears. Uh, let's flip the show to you. Let's answer some of your questions. This is from Janice in Mercer Island. Can I deduct my mortgage from my taxes if I have a home-based business? Well, the the answer is yes, you can. So the way this works is you get to deduct your mortgage anyway, but not all of you are getting the benefit of that mortgage because maybe you don't have enough deductions to itemize. So all of a sudden now, you can take some of your home mortgage and you can deduct it against your business. How you do that, and same with property taxes, is you look at your square footage of your home office compared to the square footage of the total home. Say it's 10%, 20%, 25%, whatever it may be. That's the amount of mortgage and taxes that you can actually deduct from your home business, which not only will reduce your income from your home business, but Joe will also reduce your self-employment taxes, which can be pretty high. Very good, that's the CPA. Uh, Let's go to the next one. I've got a question from Winston. Do I need any special insurance if I rent my home on Airbnb or VRBO? Well, Winston, great question. Uh, The answer is, yeah, you probably do because your regular home insurance probably won't cover short-term rentals. So the first thing I would suggest is you look at your insurance policy, maybe talk to your insurance agent if you've got one, and see what's covered and what's not covered. And then if, if depending upon what you need, you may want to add on coverage. In some cases, you may actually want to get an additional policy. All right, what did we learn today? Looking at your home and how do you figure out how that turns into an overall retirement income strategy. First thing is a lot of you downsize. 
Um, I think that's the most sensible here. It's like, hey, I had a big family home, maybe we sell that, we can take advantage of the 121 tax exclusion and um, offset any of the gains by 250 or 500,000. So that's a lot more dollars into my pocket. Maybe we buy a smaller condo, something in the community. All right, downsize. Another is that if you still have a long way to go on the overall mortgage, maybe you refinance it when rates are reasonable, and then you can try to lower your payment as much as you can. Maybe open up a home equity line <clears throat> that you can tap into, a revolving credit line. So there's different things there. Reverse mortgages, right? We talked a little bit about those. And then looking at just getting creative. Yeah, we, we had a little bit of fun there. But you know, you can always be creative. It's just trying to figure out, all right, well, what can I do to help supplement some of my income, still have a little bit of fun, and enjoy the retirement, uh, just like you enjoyed this show. Go to our website, folks, yourmoneyyourwealth.com, and click on our special offer this week. It's our Retirement Readiness Guide. Yourmoneyyourwealth.com, click on that Retirement Readiness Guide. Hopefully you enjoyed the show. For Big Al Clopine, I'm Joe Anderson, and we will see you next time, folks. <laughs>